Welcome to the Estero Boulevard Improvements Project. This production is intended to give you insight into what to expect in traffic patterns along the boulevard during construction. So if you're interested in knowing how to navigate Estero Boulevard during the Road Improvements Project, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Simply stated, this improvements project involves the town of Fort Myers Beach, replacing the old water system with a modern one that meets today's standards for better reliability. Additionally, Lee County has contracted with Christel Construction to make underground and roadway improvements as well. This work is going on simultaneously. There are two very important goals. First, improve safety for all motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. We will all enjoy a much better roadway. Second, significantly improve the drainage capabilities on Estero Boulevard. We've all seen the puddles that accumulate after heavy rains. All of these important improvements will be completed, eventually, for the entire boulevard. For now, let's talk about the first segment to be worked on, the one-mile stretch from Crescent Street to Lover's Lane. The Streetscape Master Plan identifies this area as the core area, or civic complex area. For purposes of this production, we'll call it Segment 1. At completion, Segment 1 will have new 10-foot travel lanes in each direction. Please take note that at trolley stops, the center turn lane will be used as a travel lane. In essence, this will allow traffic to pass by trolleys as they pick up and drop off passengers. In addition, pedestrians will enjoy 9-foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road. Additionally, Florida Power & Light is replacing all electric utility poles with concrete poles to improve service reliability related to severe weather. Please note that construction crews are working on the road in several phases. So, they'll be coming down the same stretch of road multiple times to complete the individual elements of work. Water lines, sewer force main, roadway excavation and construction, sidewalk demolition and construction, and electric power pole replacements. Many of these individual elements are going on all at the same time. To make all this possible, some changes in the driving pattern are required. So, let's take a look at how to best navigate Estero Boulevard during construction. Expect two-way traffic throughout the project once the town water main is completed. During all phases, please pay close attention to flagmen and traffic patterns, and be aware there will be at least three construction zones at any given time. Work will be done in phases. In phase zero, the sanitary force main will be installed underground beneath the existing northbound lane. This will require closing the center turn lane and shifting the travel lanes towards the golf side of Estero Boulevard to provide room for contractors to install the force main. Both the northbound and southbound lanes will be open while the contractor is working. Once that it's complete, phase one of the roadway work will move to the golf side of the road where contractors will start the construction of the roadway and temporary drainage features. Additionally, a temporary pedestrian way will be built along the golf side. Traffic will be moved to the east side of the road and again two lanes of traffic will be maintained. In phase two, the construction zone shifts to the center of the road to install the center drainage system. One lane of traffic will be maintained on both sides of the center construction area. Please note, turning left may require a bit more time as you may need to make a U-turn around the construction zone in order to get to your destination. During the next phase, phase three, the contractor will be reconstructing the east side of the road and building a wide sidewalk. The two lanes of traffic will be shifted to the golf side. During the final phase of the road work, the two lanes of traffic shift to the east on the new northbound and center lanes as new curbing and sidewalks are constructed on the golf side. Please note that while the contractor expects to maintain two lanes of traffic as often as possible, there will be times of intermittent one-way alternating traffic. The goal of both Lee County and the town of Fort Myers Beach is to minimize interruptions. Thank you for your time and patience. Should you want detailed information about the project, please contact Sela Molnar & Associates, the consultant hired by Lee County to provide public information services.